Welcome to week number two of July. This reading is for the week of July 11th through the 17th. I hope you all are having an awesome summer in the Northern Hemisphere at the very least. Let's get right into it. This month I'm using the Somnirum Dream Oracle deck. Um, I'm using this to reveal the subconscious, what the subconscious is doing here. We got the gift in reverse, excitement, and health. Okay. So starting off, the excitement card refers to when an opportunity or something which we desire feels so close that we sort of impulsively uh, run toward it. Now, the week does start with this feeling of like being at the right place at the right time and there being an alignment of opportunities, but our mind may be having trouble keeping up. So don't overthink this. I think that's why um, gift is in reverse and also health is showing up here. There might be something about releasing control um, this makes me want to say, like, let's go back and integrate last week's lesson about owning your truth and and um, really using the downloads that you might be getting um, um, about you know who you are at your core, at your at your essence. This is this month is about finding your essence. It may be a difficult process to understand. What what are your real gifts? You may not see them as gifts or strengths at this time. Um, th there might be something health related, and if not for you, for somebody that you know, that is um, maybe appearing as somewhat of a block or a resistance. And I'm here to say that you know the. the 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 sentence that I'm getting right now is that you are more than the sum of your parts. So like what's happening on the surface isn't really all that there is. Well, we do have the full moon in Capricorn. I feel like the full moon in Capricorn is really underlining and asking for the integration of last week's lesson. Go back and watch that video. One of these corners here. I think it'll be here. Midweek there will be, I think, a mental boost that will bring creativity, inspiration, even spirituality, and then like we have a Pisces moon weekend, which is even more so lending itself to be a weekend focused on your sensitivities, refining your senses, doing spiritual practice. Notice how much you can actually sense or intuit in the moment. So maybe do less, maybe spend more time focusing on your health. Any new ideas that come up now are intended to shift you, even if slightly, toward your purpose. And if there, there may be either excitement for this, right? But remember, slow and steady. Do not give in to um, impulses I think that it's really asking you to take your time and the reason it wants you to take your time is it wants you to unearth you know I'm 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 seeing now like sort of like a fossil that that be, that gets dug up from the earth you take your time with those things not just because they're fragile but to preserve the integrity of that which you are discovering do not make quick assumptions of like, oh, I know now I've, I've figured this out. I feel like it's asking you for a greater sensitivity so that you can really take care of yourself through the process um, of discovery so that you can really use it as fuel for inspiration so that your mind can sort of keep up with, um, you know, the, the mind processes everything, right? We process everything through our brain and you know, it's just a, it's just like how, the way that things are. And I think to truly integrate it, to, to truly integrate things as humans into our lives, like we do have to process them mentally and cognitively and create some sort of logic and order. That's just human tendency. Can you find a balance between that 
and um you know releasing control you know there's there's the full moon again sort of being like just trust surrender trust and surrender all right let's get into our reading well that wanted to cut there and yet here we are there's some nervousness um the Nine of Swords is about our dreams again, so I'm glad I'm using the Dream Oracle deck because this is making a lot of sense to me. Either some messages will come in your dreams, or my, you know, dreams are the language of the subconscious. This also reveals that there might be some nervousness again around not totally understanding your gifts. But we also have the the Star and the Knight of Wands. Um, you're passionate about something. There's definitely something to be moving towards. The Knight of Wands reflects the excitement card for me. Interesting. Maybe I will go back and read the, um, really quickly, just some messages from this Oracle deck because I haven't used it in a minute. Um, what is meant to be will come in time. If you force the situation, what you desire may elude you and always remain just slightly out of your grasp. Start trusting yourself and the universe. Okay, so it is what I said. But just to be sure, and let me read the gift in reverse. The gift is postponed until correct action is made or we may not be ready for the gift. Patience or work is required. And then we have health. Okay, so what does health say about that? Because health does, the health card says to look at the other cards. So now we know that there's, we need to take care of ourselves better in order to truly understand our gifts and to, um, and possibly the revelation and the integration of our own personal gifts, like our own center, our understanding how powerful we are or influential we can be is really what leads to the next moment, the next, um, the next moment, the next desire becoming fulfilled because we are always working toward the thing that we want and the thing that we want wants us. If we're not getting it, it means we're not ready. So health is saying, yeah, the health card's position and what surrounds it is very important. If you get the health card next to, okay, da, 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 da. Uh, it can be an indicator of different types of health it may be telling you to take time to make your health a priority. Your body is your temple. Treat it accordingly. Um, yeah, so this might just actually be saying, like, really just take care of yourself this month. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Three of Wands. Yeah, take the opportunity. Um, there might be, like, a pause or a break coming up this week. And you could use this as an opportunity to see further into yourself what is your you know the hermit has the star here this is the same star as the star card in the healing card the card of hope and optimism the hermit does find that he you know sequesters himself in order to find his light um and this is what connects us to our feeling, the things that we, we, you know, the Knight of Cups, he leads with truth leading his heart. This is sort of like, um, this is a romantic sort of Knight of Cups, you know, a romantic gesture, if you will. And last week there was big love showing up. So I, I'm, I'm starting to believe that this is big self-love. This is about tenderness towards self and how you move through the world in such a way that just feels really good to you. We have another five card in the middle. Uh, this is the five of wands. This is about realizing external influence. Um, this could be relating to, um, you know, just some white noise. The hanged beast. When other things come at you this week, it might be better just to um, do nothing. This is so in line with the Pisces moon weekend we're about to have. You know, you don't need to over-explain yourself. You can let people think what they want to think. 
and you move on. You move on in the direction that feels good to you. Because you're, you're doing the internal work. Um, now, this makes me think that someone might try to entice you or influence you in, in a certain direction. There's the Four of Pentacles. This is the body card. This is a take care of your body card in some ways. And then there's a message showing up here. So, if you believe that you don't really have all that you need within you, which is the lesson of this month, I'll say, is to find that everything is here um, and, you know, and to not seek external validation, which, by the way, I saw the King of Swords below, so now I'm going to pull him because the Kings don't need any validation. They don't need any external validation. They're just, they're pretty secure in their truth. Um, you know, the King of Swords also is like a very, like, sort of like the Justice card is very fair, logical. And there, while there may be some challenges at the beginning of this week in terms of how we can wrap our brains around what is happening, what is this alignment of opportunity, the reason that this opportunity is here is for you to be able to take a step back. Now, I don't know how this will manifest in your life, but this is just what's showing up. There might be temptations to, or a message coming in, the Page of Swords. See, and you're already the King of Swords here. Like, this is your, in your subconscious, you're like pretty, by the end of the week, you do get this clarity. And by the, you, you'll already be in this like, um, enhanced, or I'll say refined mental state when the Page of Swords arrives, this message. Um, I don't know what this message will entail, but I feel like it will, it may ask you to do some things physically, right? Because what I'm seeing here is that there, there is, what's being asked of us is to do things slowly and intentionally and to not be impulsive and when we get a, there might be a message around, uh, maybe this is just a spiritual download to say, like, please take care of yourself. Um, and this, <laughs> this card in the middle is now sort of screaming to me, no FOMO. Uh, it's okay to step away from the noise, the hang beast. The Hanged Beast and the Hermit are both cards of, like, seeking enlightenment. Um, the Page of Swords is the Hero of the Tarot, and it's a remind. you know, the Page of Swords deals with the Tower card. And so, even though the Tower showed up last week, this is a theme for this month that things may feel a bit uh, bumpy, or at least, you know, like, feeling just, like, a little bit fogged in and not really certain of a direction. You are taking care of yourself now, not only to reveal your strengths and your gifts, um, but to actually literally physically prepare yourself for what comes next. Um, and not just physically, but spiritually. And so we are having again this alignment of like physical, mental, spiritual, making sure that every part of ourselves is sort of on the right page here. And so for you, this might, you know, per person, can manifest in many different ways. Um, please let me know how this is working out in your life. I'm, I'm honestly so, so curious, but I'm going to end this here. Um, please like and subscribe the video to the videos. I put out six videos a month currently. Uh, that'll be one video a week for the energy videos and then the lunations, the full and the new moon. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.